Hello, my name is Sandcaller, and we're playing Feed the Beast for once. We haven't been on here in a long time. Three months was the last episode. So, some stuff has changed on here. For one, we switched from the Minecraft pack to the Ultimate pack. And because I am completely against map resets ever, we didn't restart, so it's the same map. Uh, there's some additions and whatnot, but like everything still works. Uh, I did move as well. And we're gonna go over to the new place, which I'm at some point gonna finish this, but I don't know when. I'm kinda bored with this. It's just a matter of laying down the roof really and then figuring out what to do with this room and it was causing a bunch of lag at spawn so uh, at some point we're gonna come over here and get these because we don't need them over here anymore I'm gonna well I'll, let's go over there so I'm gonna go through the nether and it'll go real quick One of the new additions, or one of the changes, the, the additions to mods in the ultimate pack is power armor, which is not all that expensive, and it makes you really fast, just like quantum armor, but it's a lot easier to get, and it, I've never had it run out of power. And that's what this is too. This power tool, it'll let you dig. And there's one other trick, which is night vision. So, let's go back out here and there's four of these. They're meant to be like little boats, little Minecraft boats, which I'll probably change at some point, or at least come out here and use micro blocks on them. Uh, but what this is connected to, and this is using wireless redstone, so it's set to frequency 100, and it's just outside of what I keep chunk loaded when no player is on. So. If we shut off night vision and then we're going to disconnect and we'll reconnect in that redstone torch right there or lamp that'll be shut off because no player was on and I'll get to it more into what this is all working towards we're going to give it a little bit to that repeater set to like 64 ticks So, well, we should be pretty good now. No, well, probably not long enough. Anyway, it works. I've tested it. I won't waste your time proving that it does. Because that's not all that interesting what we're gonna do with it is more interesting and so I'm using applied energetics inner something yeah you figure out how to say it to store all my items so as you can see there's a lot of stuff stored in here and then I'm also using this to to do certain process stuff so like I'm using it to craft golden nuggets into a gold ingot which I get from a zombie pigment farm and there it just went off and then this this one here sucks it back into the storage and this one puts the gold nuggets in 
And this is just still not complete. So we'll go over here. We'll turn our night vision back on. So I haven't been I've been really bad about putting down torches. Uh, that's more applied inner ME stuff. Same with this stuff. This is a wireless sender and this is ME storage. This is where your items are actually stored. So if you took one of these storage drives out, you could put it in somewhere else to access it if you wanted to. Uh, just tanks with liquids and whatnot and then uh, right underneath that you probably saw there's a farm that has a couple golems in it and then we get down here to the engine room so we have steam engines that are running right now but there's also sterling or coal engines and then magma engines up here at the top yeah, I've never actually had all of this stuff on yet because it's not really wired up in a way that's useful quite yet. Then if we come down again we get down here to the steam. So I just finally got these heated back up and you can see that they're also pulling the coal is being put directly from my storage up there right into here so it always stays full and then these are the steam turbines this is just a big tank of steam here for no particular reason then continuing down and eventually we'll probably go into this in more detail but right now I'm just trying to show you a bunch of stuff just these are coke ovens and the items get pulled out and coal gets kept kept in it and then it'll keep a blast furnace running and all of these are sh t turned on and off with a uh, ME level emitter so when there's 512 still ingots it'll shut off by shutting this off so then there it'll stack up 64 still ingots in there but that's fine and then over here we have a couple lines to automatically uh, process different stuff some of them work off of you have to push a crafting button so like this one if you want a brick you have to push the button to make the brick and then it'll send the clay down here into this hopper which goes into a furnace which will then spit out your bricks. Uh, and then this one just makes the red alloy ingots when there is less than 256. Otherwise it'll shut off so you don't use because you know you don't need 20,000 red ingots. And this is what we're going to work on here today which I'll get into this but uh, over here well, I'm sure you heard all the pigment but and here in the drop trap we have endermen for ender pearls and then creepers for gunpowder and wither skeletons even though it just shows the skeletons, they're actually wither skeletons. And those are for coal, primarily. And then down here, mostly this is just for XP, and it's really loud. But uh, this is an XP turtle, it will automatically enchant the coal. There's another one here. But they'll grab a stack of books out of here in this block and then they'll use them until they're empty.
Is it really loud over there? I don't normally play with the sound on, so I didn't realize how loud it was. Yeah, now if we go, and this is just a walkway that I'm putting in. It doesn't, because this is all going to eventually be closed off. Because you won't need to do anything to it. It's all going to be automated stuff. So this is what we're going to be doing today. We're going to be taking these four, which control the mob farms over there, the dropping ones. And we're going to move these and make them so that when a player is logged in, they're always off. Or, you know, they get shut off when a player logs in or loads up the area. But, uh, you know, if no players on, then they'll be running if they don't have too many items. So the way this works is like, this one is for gunpowder, so I want to keep 20,000 gunpowder in my storage drives there. So when there's 20,000 or more, it sends out a redstone signal on frequency 102, which puts it into the spawner over there and shuts it off. So. And that's the wrong thing to break off. I wanted to be able to get access to this just to make this go a little bit faster because we're going to need gunpowder, blaze rod, and coal. So, see right now if we go over there. The wither skeletons will be dropping and then it'll shut them off when there's 20,000 coal and right now it just ignores bones which I have going somewhere else for a recycler and then I can't think right now what the other one is ender pearls Okay, so we want to grab all this stuff. And we're going to go back down to where we were. And you can see them all going now. Which probably won't happen very often. We're going to go down right here. And so I got a couple already. I was just checking. So we're going to set these all to 20,000. I think that's a good number. And I don't remember. Then we'll do the ender pearl up here at the top. So the only one that's that shouldn't be on. No, oh, maybe maybe I had that set lower. Um, so. I have these bundled cables and insulated cables and you can see some of them down there on the wall already but we're going to put cyan, lime and then this blue one 
And now this one, this red one, is actually getting power and sending it through. This is my test. So if we grab wherever that guy went, and put him there, he should, he'll shut off. I just wanted to test to make sure that uh, it was actually working before I did all this. can take this stuff out here put those four down and then we're gonna just kind of match them up uh, we'll start with the red and then we'll go with the cyan lime and then blue so then this one will just set to wither And then creeper. Blaze. And then the Enderman. So now if we look over here, yeah, all the drop ones are off. The blazes are gone now. They weren't before. It's a pretty simple blaze farm. So now we're going to have to fly up back to the surface and grab that little array thing that I had set up on the lawn. So that's just a red power repeater and then the wireless receiver. I think that I want I want this this is just because I think it'd be cool to have it on a delay it's not a purposeful thing really and then we can set this to 100 and then it'll power it now we gotta get power into all of these. Which is what's going to be the fun part. Um, and I didn't bring it with me. Red alloy, uh, blah. Red alloy wire will connect to all of these insulated wires. So I'm going to try and do it with that, and we might have to move that thing back, but that's not a big deal. Let's see, in here you can just search. Uh, we better just grab that much of it. So you can search in here and see how many, so if we search books, you can see I have 94 just junction books and 90 sharpness 3 books. And then just, you know, a few of some of the rare ones. But yeah, I really like this sorting system. Uh, it doesn't seem to cause any lag either. Because it's not displaying the... It's not moving items in a tube. I mean it's, so it has nothing to display. I don't know if this will actually, this probably won't work. And turn on flight mode. Yeah, I didn't think that would work. Which is why I made this whole room for pretty much the same type of thing. So we're going to have to move this.
Let's just break these. Okay, because the next one would actually be here. So then I'm not sure if the next one will actually connect to this one or not. I never used any of the green ones. Then we can put down this red alloy wire. Or maybe not. So I didn't think about that. If one of these is powered and it powers this red wire over here, it'll power all of them. So instead what we could do is this, which seems backwards to me. So then you know the red one is powered but if we put this on green it would power green because the player is logged on so we're going to need some more of those receivers which hopefully we have I'm kind of low on redstone because I started making it into the molten redstone and uh, that probably wasn't a great idea but I have it set up in here to craft wireless receivers and it has all the subcomponents so we're just going to try and craft 10 of them and it'll take it probably a minute Oh, I guess I'm missing. I missed one. So I guess I'll show you how to uh, make this recipe thing. Because I can't think right now. So we need that, and then we're going to need. I have them right here. So then we go over to this block, which is an ME pattern encoder. We're going to put the stone bowl in, and then that. And this is what it'll make. But then instead of trying to make it, we put a blink, an ME blink pattern in there. Hit encode, and then it'll become a encoded pattern with what it crafts. And then take that, and we can shove it right into here. And now if we go back over here, yeah, see it just made all of them. So then we shove that back in and type in wireless. That's m the only thing I don't care for. I'd like to have one that was just crafting recipes. I need to just set another one up and leave it toggled. Uh, we'll go back down here. So we're not going to have the delay, but I could probably put that on another way if I really wanted it. So now nothing should be on. Yeah, no more of the blazes are bottom. Now I want to shift these guys off. I didn't ever set it up because I wanted to do that on video. So 
if I can get back in there. That's what we're going to end up doing over here. So we're going to need four more of these level emitters. And I don't think I have any. No, I have two. Okay, so we need two more. And we got to place some the weird way. And what we could do is we could put these inside here. Let's see if we can do that real quick. It'll just make it a little bit more compact. Wherever I put the stack of those. And remember that they're backwards. And you can pick them out of this list. I just, for this one, it's just as fast to hit 100. Then we can take this down. Then we can put four more of these right here. And then we can reuse the same colors because they're not, it's not connecting. So we can just take red, cyan, lime, and then blue. And then we'll take these guys. And we'll have to go make a couple more, but they're also in that program. Or they're encoded into my crafting thing up here. Which I keep meaning to make one and put it down there. I just haven't yet. This is the thumb craft room. I'll type in level and I've got them right here. I'll just make a couple of them. And it must have ran out of something. Yeah. I haven't taught it how to make a redstone torch yet. Because that's the drawback. Or that's the, the con, is that everything that you want to have it automatically make, you have to program into it. It doesn't come pre-programmed with any of anything. Okay. Now we can down like this. And the cyan and lime again. So the zombie pigmen I'm going to shut off because I'm automatically crafting their nuggets into gold. I'm going to shut that off when I have 20,000 gold, which seems a little bit insane to me, but that's what we're going to do. So right, Because right now I have 2,000, give or take. And then the zombies, I think we're going to do it with iron, because since they're being killed by the turtles, it counts them as uh, dropping, they'll drop rare items 
and then there's silverfish in there that they're just they're only going to be uh, turned on if nobody else is on and then we need four of these and four of these Okay, so, yeah, this kind of gives you an idea. Uh, we don't really need four of those, is what I just realized. But we're setting it up to have space for four. So when I add more farms, it won't be hard to do. So we'll set up this one as, I don't know, up to 103 or 104 104 so we'll go 105 and we'll call this one zombie pigman farm set name then we'll put in the red one we're going to put the gold in set it to 20,000 and then we'll do iron 20,000 okay yeah it did shut off it should shut off I was a little baffled there for a second then we'll call this zombie farm which is an iPhone game and then this one will be uh, silverfish which actually doesn't need to be on here because all I need it to do so uh, well, we'll just grab it all I need from it is for it to be shut off when this is turned on so I do want to call this farm so that should work and then I'll still have another space for detecting items. So now what we do is come over here to these noisy farms. Sound. I don't know if I should just shut it off. But we'll try 1%. And then we'll fly up a little bit so they can't bug as much. That's the zombie farm. And this is the zombie pigman farm. And then silverfish. There, now you saw they shut right off. Other than the silverfish, everything is dead. And once I get out of there, I'm going to put the cover back over it. Then the silverfish will die on the. So yeah, now it's nice and quiet. We can turn our sound back up. Yeah, these guys just. They're trying to drop items, and they try to tack up. Uh, there's probably a better way to do it. But trying to make it as fast as possible so that it can keep up with how fast the farms spawn. 
items. Now the only thing that I worry a little bit about is with the coal because of how much coal these engines or these steam engines use. If someone stayed on over here it could possibly just shut it off. But I'm not that worried about it. Because I'm keeping 20,000 20, coal in my storage. Yeah, so right now there's pretty much 20,000. Hasn't gone down very much. But yeah, we're going to call this an episode right here, I think, at the end I'm going to toss in a little clip from the Twilight Forest. I'm going to try and do that when I'm in there and I kill a boss. Uh, I'll throw in a clip. So this clip is me killing a Naga, which I think I've done a video of a Naga kill before, but this one's a pretty creative way. So. Thanks for watching and I will see you guys in the next episode.